Hi, Greg Newman, afternoon announcer, Monday to Friday here on Vision. My story for today, Christmas is coming. It's getting close. Got all the presents, the turkey, the ham. Anyway, let's, let's read about the first Christmas. And we're going to be reading from Luke 2, verses 25 to 35. Now, when you think about the first Christmas, what names come to mind? Jesus, of course, and Mary and Joseph. And if you want to get really creative, you could also include Caesar Augustus, since his name appears at the beginning of Luke 2. These are certainly the most familiar names from the first Christmas. But later in the chapter, we read about a less well-known man who happens to have a lot in common with us. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. We read that Luke 2, 25 to 26. This time of the year, the signs that something wonderful is on the way are everywhere. All around the neighborhood, people string lights and they hang wreaths while carols play on the radio and bells jingle on street corners. In your own house, you might be making special holiday foods or arranging treasured decorations and interesting packages may be appearing under the tree. With all these signs pointing to the approaching holiday, it's no wonder excitement is at an all-time high, especially for the kids. <laughs> When my own sons were little, they would ask quite often, you know, how much longer till Christmas? How many days till Christmas? How many sleeps? How many more days, Daddy? Does that sound familiar? The closer it gets to Christmas and the more signs we see that it's coming, the harder it can be to wait. As any parent who's ever been awakened at, uh, you know, three, four in the morning knows, on Christmas morning, of course. Simeon knew a thing or two about waiting, we're not told much about him, but we know that he had been waiting a long time for Jesus. And not just waiting, but waiting with expectation, with absolute faith that what he was waiting for would come to pass. You see, God had promised Simeon that he would not die before he had seen the Messiah. So Simeon wasn't just hoping to see Jesus. He knew he would, because he knew God is faithful. Just as we know that all the lights and decorations mean Christmas is coming, Simeon knew that God's promise meant a saviour was coming. And so he looked for him eagerly. Month after month, year after year, maybe even decade after decade, Simeon woke up every morning with, I suppose you could say, a, a Christmas level excitement, thinking each day could be the one when God would fulfil his promise. Can you imagine waiting for so long with that kind of anticipation? It kind of makes our wait for Christmas just feel pretty insignificant. Just as our wait for Christmas won't last forever, Simeon's wait ended when the Holy Spirit led him to the temple and he finally saw Jesus. We learn from Simeon to wait eagerly for Jesus, to look for him every day with the expectation that we will see him and be shown ways to serve him and glorify him.